हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अमर कुमार राम वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस वीडियो इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन वीडियो इन द माइक्रो फ्रंट एंड कम्युनिकेशन प्ले लिस्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन दिस काउंटर एप्लीकेशन एंड विल इंटीग्रेट इट विद द होस्ट ऐप सो लेट्स क्विकली डू दैट लेट्स फर्स्ट गो टू द रिमोट ऐप एंड ओपन इट्स कोड इन वी एस कोड नाउ विल ओपन रिमोट एप्लीकेशन एंड देन सोर्स ऐप काउंटर and then counter component dot html with that we also need to open counter component dot css file so let's quickly design it first we'll have a container so let's create a div and give it a class as counter container inside which we'll have a label say counter value and then we'll have a paragraph tag which will hold the value that is counter variable after this we will omit this counter variable from line number 8 and provide a class to this counter value label as counter label also we will provide a class to this p tag and say it as counter value now we'll create another div inside this counter container and give it a class name as counter action and we'll cut from line number 9 and paste it in line number 4 the same button tag now we'll save the file and check it over the browser so let's check it so this is how it looks like counter value 0 and counter now we'll design it so that we can recognize this remote app in the host app separately let's proceed with the further development we'll copy this counter container class and paste it in scss file and we'll write as width as 100% height as 200 pixel background color as aquamarine we'll give a border as 1px dashed red save the file and let's check it background color seems fine but border color is not displaying let's check what has been missed okay so the spelling of dashed is wrong it should be d a s h e d with this let's increase the border width from 1 pixel to 4 pixel and save it now this is how it looks like now we'll design the inner part of this container so let's quickly do that to save the time i have already prepared the css so let's paste that first and what i have changed here is the class of counter button i have given the name as counter btn so we'll provide the same name in the html as well and we'll save both the files let's see how it looks like over the browser so this is how it looks like if i click over counter button it increases the value as expected our next task is to integrate this mfa with the host app so let's quickly do that till now i believe you are familiar with how to integrate an angular remote application with the angular host application as i have uploaded multiple videos on this over my channel in both the languages that is hindi and english but if you are new to my channel then also do not worry because i'll cover all those parts in this series as well i'll recommend to watch those videos first to grab the knowledge of micro front end and then come here to get the knowledge of micro front end communications now let's start the very first thing that we need to do here is open the webpack config file of remote application and here we need to expose the counter module that we have created for the mfa now let's remove this library object as it is not required and we'll uncomment the exposes part of webpack config we'll keep the default value of name key and file name key but we need to change the exposes object because we do not want to expose app component.ts file rather we need to expose counter module.ts file so let's do that we'll open counter module.ts file we'll copy the class name and provide the same name in the webpack config and its value will be the path of this counter module which is nothing but source then app then counter so after app we'll need to write counter and then instead of app dot component dot ts we need to write counter dot module dot ts this is done let's save this file and check if everything works fine or not as we have changed in the configuration file we need to restart the server so let's quickly do that I have restarted the server and the application looks fine if I click on counter then it increases the value 
after this we also need to resolve this console error and i believe you know how to resolve this as i have explained it in my previous videos we need to add a script type in the output object so let's add this script type and the value of it will be text forward slash javascript now save the file and restart the server again So after adding script type we can see that console error has gone and also we'll check whether remote entity.js file has been created or not for that we'll write forward slash remote entity.js after 4300 port as we can see that we have successfully created remote entity.js file and here if i search with counter module which we are exposing then we can see that counter module is present in this file now how the name of remote entity.js and counter module come let's understand that as we are exposing counter.module.ts file with the name of counter module so this counter module name is present in the file and we are giving the name of the file as remote entity.js so the exposed file has name remote entity.js however you can give any name to the value of file name key now we have successfully exposed counter.module.ts file let's consume it in the host application first of all let me close all the files and go to the host application here our first task will be in webpack.config.js file the same configuration we have to do here as well that is need to add a script type key and the value of it will be text forward slash javascript also we need to remove this library key which is not required in our case and we'll uncomment this remote object because now we are going to consume a remote application so we'll just uncomment this remote object for better understanding let's open webpack config file of remote app as well here we are exposing the remote app with the name of remote app only so we'll copy this remote app and come to the host application and replace this mfe one with the name remote app now in the value we need to write remote app at the rate the url of the remote application remote entity.js file which is in our case hosted at 4300 port so let's do that http colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then 4300 forward slash remote entry.js file we'll save the file and since we have changed in the configuration file of host app so we need to restart the server of host app i have restarted the server now let's check over the browser how host app looks like it seems like there is no change happened in host application but we have changed the configuration file of the host application now we need to modify the component and html file to see the change result for that i'll go to the source folder then app then app hyphen routing dot module dot ts file and here we will load the remote application on particular route so let's configure the routes array we'll provide the very first object which will have a key as path and the value of it will be an empty path it will have another key as redirect to which will redirect the user to a specific route say forward slash counter app and the path match property will have a value as full if you are not aware of how to create routes in an angular application then please do let me know in the comment section so that i'll create a tutorial series on angular as well now we will add the second object which will have a path property and the value of it will be counter app the second property of it will be load children which is nothing but having a function value so we'll create an arrow function and in the body we'll return a method called load remote model this load remote model comes from angular architects module federation custom builder package it expects an object which will have three keys one is remote entry for now i am giving an empty value second is remote name and third is exposed model in the remote entry the value would be the path of the remote entry.js file which is nothing but localhost 4300 forward slash remote entry.js file the remote name will have the value by which the remote application has been exposed 
So if you go to the remote application webpack config, the module has been exposed with the name remote app. So we'll copy this remote app and paste it in the remote name. The third key is exposed module, which is nothing but having the value of the exposed module key, which is counter module in our case. So we'll copy this and paste it in the exposed module value. We also need to put a dot and forward slash at the start of this counter module because we are exposing in the same way here. This load remote module is nothing but a promise. So we'll have a then block which will have a response say M and this M will have the remote model that is counter model. By any chance if there will be any error then we'll catch it in the catch block which will have a response say ERR representing the error and we'll log in the console. Now we'll save the file. After this, to reflect this route configuration, we need to change in the app component.html file as well. Here we will omit everything and put the router outlet tag where the HTML file will be rendered based on the path or routes configured in the app-routing.module.ts file. I have saved all the files. Now let's check over the browser. So now we are on empty path and if I refresh the page, it will redirect to the counter app path as we have configured in the routing file. That is when we are on empty path, it will redirect to the counter app path. After landing on counter app path, it will load the remote app in the router outlet tag of app component.html file. So let's refresh the page. As we can see that the empty path has been redirected to the counter app, but remote application is not loading. Let's check in the network tab and we can see that a remote entity.js file has been loaded and it has been loaded from another server, which is on 4300 port. So we are able to load the remote entry file from another server successfully, but we are not able to render the application itself. So remote application is not loading because when we go to the remote app, we can see that there is an error and it is saying that counter.model.ts file is missing from the TypeScript compilation. To resolve this, what we'll do, we'll first close all the files and open the remote application. We are not able to load remote application because in the counter routing.model.ts file, we are not loading the counter component on an empty path. So let's do that. For that, we'll create an object which will have a path as an empty path and then we'll load the component as a counter component and the path match property will have a value as full. After this, we'll go to the app routing.model.ts file and here we are loading the counter component in an empty path. So our app module should be aware of this counter component. Let's go to the app module and here we have included this counter component, but we do not want to include the counter component itself. So let's delete it and instead we'll include the counter module as a whole. Now I have saved the file and let's check over the browser. So we are able to render 4300 port application on 4200 port application where on 4300 we are rendering the remote application and over 4200 we are rendering the host application. To differentiate, let's modify the app component HTML file of host application. So we'll open host application and then source and then app and app component.html file. Before router outlet, what we'll do, we'll create an h1 tag and we'll write this is host application. We'll save the file and open counter component HTML file in the remote app. Here inside counter container, we'll write h1 tag and the sentence we will write is this is remote application. I have saved all the files. Now let's check over the browser. We can see that we are successfully rendering the remote application inside host application. And this host application is rendering over 4200 port while this remote application is coming from this remote entity.js file, which is rendering over 4300 port. Now, if I press counter here, it is working fine. The only thing we need to understand here is this counter value is a local state of the remote application and so it is working perfectly fine. But in later videos, we will handle this counter value state from this host application and also we'll do the vice versa that is we'll have a counter value in the host application and we'll control from the remote application. By that, we will be able to understand how to share state between the host application and the remote application. After that, we'll cover more concepts in this series. So let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care, signing off.